A few days ago, Cypher PK called out a map creator called Greasy, which is responsible for the creation of the pit in Discovery that has making thousands of millions of dollars every year or month for the guy. But that's not the problem. The problem was he was exploiting the rules and bending and crossing them a little bit to make people like and favor the map so he can get more engagement in Discovery, therefore more cash. But that didn't go so well with Cypher, and here's the video. I'm on my favorite map, the Pit Free For All made by Gearzy, and this map is actually the number one most favorited map in Fortnite. Oh look, is that a mythic Zeus Thunderbolt? I actually want to use this weapon on this map right now. Let me see if I can pick this up. It says press. Alright, so, wait, it's not letting me pick it up. It says like and favorite to support. Oh, so I have to actually like and favorite the map and then I can pick up the mythic Thunderbolt. So let me try that. I'm gonna click escape, uh, favorite, like. And now I should be able to pick up the mythic Zeus Thunderbolt. There it is. No, that's actually not working. It's, it's not letting me pick up the mythic Zeus Thunderbolt. And I, I feel betrayed, honestly. And I, I wanna take a look right here. This got added onto the map earlier this week. You can see exactly when it got added right here around March 24th. And ever since it got added, the pit went from most favorited number eight to number seven to number six, four, three, two. And now it is the number one most favorited map in Fortnite. But that's not all. This map is not the only one doing this. Crazy Red versus Blue, which is most favorited number two, also used this strategy to climb up the ranks. And BHE 1v1 build fights currently has this strategy right now on their map. And they happen to be most favorited number one, two, and three. And this row is actually the strongest row in Discovery. Fortnite, your top creators are abusing your system and tricking people to boost their maps to the top of these charts. Hopefully something is done. After that, Twitter was a chaos. There was an explosion every single second with the two coming back at each other, which are some pretty funny comments over there if you want to check them out. But after a few seconds that that has passed, we see that Greasy gets really aggressive on some of the maps that might be able to pass his map and therefore get a challenge in Discovery. So he striked them. That was unfortunate. Uh, which he was claiming that he owes everything from the pit and he made them himself. So no one else can make it the pit. No, the pit is mine. You can't steal my money. That's my idea. Uh, of course, it wasn't his idea, and that was a terrible tragedy, which actually outraged many of the community. He lost every single source of uh, advantage he had in the complaints, because in 2018, he actually didn't make the pit. He was actually stole it from another person, which was from a Minecraft server, Hype. High pixel, uh, high pixel. I hope I'm right about that name. I'm not exactly sure, but th that's there. Like all advantages were lost exactly in that second. Hopefully, uh, Cypher PK could reach out to Epic Games. The noises were heard, and the map was completely uh, back up, so the creator could uh, make the money that he needed from out of his map. I'm not exactly sure what the creator name was, but you will see him on the screen. Okay. One of the other very unexpected tragedies that we see, it's not actually a tragedy, it's a very funny, unexpected interference with this collision that Cypher PK did, was he uh, made a map called Avatar Pit, which if you play the map, it's not exactly some banger or something like that, but it's still a really cool coincidence that you have this exact at the time that you're making these accusations which are true about Greasy, and uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. But it almost stops there after these happens and Greasy comes with a final switch, the final banger to show his power, which doesn't actually go very well. And I was saying that it's really bad that the creators can't protect their work. So I had to stop the recording over there because there was an interference with the cosmic realities that were coming in my room. It doesn't matter that much. But the moral of the story is he was very mad that he couldn't bring 200,000 lawyers which cost him a fortune to form a lawsuit of some sort. I don't know how exactly he wanted to do that. 
and he says he's really sad that creators cannot protect their work, which is, wasn't his work. You you need to point that out very clearly that this is not your work and you stole it in the first place. Also, you broke many of the rules, and it probably uh, just stops after that, especially that tweet did get community noted as well, saying that it is not his work. So he stopped after that with a really sad smile going to the Shadow Realm, with all the disrespect that he needed to be shown to him so he doesn't make this mistake again. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Just wanted to talk about it. Have a nice time.